Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the semifinals here at U Ottawa Matt Anthony Field, where the GGs will take on the Redbirds from McGill. Uh, today, hosting is me, Miami, and and Dodge, <laughs> and we're on our way here. Kickoff has started. Today, we're seeing the number two U Ottawa GGs, who are four and two take on the McGill Redbirds who were third in the league with also being four and two. However, they did drop their game to the GGs. In the first uh, game of the season. Uh, so this game should be very, uh, very fun and uh, explosive to see because um, last year RCQ finals was GGs uh, McGill. And this year it's uh, semifinals. So whoever takes, whoever wins this, goes to finals. Yes. And then whoever wins the finals goes to nationals. Unfortunately, RCQ only has one seat at nationals. So uh, the boys, they just have to put in the work and get there. Yeah, and uh, U Ottawa will be hosting the nationals in 2024. So they'll get an automatic bid next year. Um, but obviously good to get some experience on the national stage before you host. So, <coughs> and McGill have obviously gotten that experience before, looking to come back. First scrum of the game here. Paul was just knocked forward in play by the red, sorry, by U Ottawa in the tackle, I believe. So it's going to be a Redbirds scrum, 15 meters into the half. McGill puts the ball in, number nine, Frasione to number 10, to 12, breaks through the line. Still going, got tackled. McGill still with the ball going forward. McGill now 10 meters out from the try line. Referee blows the whistle. Unsure what the call is gonna be. He's gonna send players away. Penalty against the GGs, offside. About 15 meters out from the try line. Number 10, Gaspar Poir is gonna look for the line. Line out to the Redbirds, 10 meters out. First line out of the game, McGill Ball. Number two, Evan Tennant. Putting it in for the Redbirds. Not a lot of wind here tonight. It was raining earlier, but good conditions. And Redbirds find their jumper. Maul to the back. GG's do their best to defend it. And they're doing well. But McGill is able to recover the ball at the back of the mall. Gonna look for some pick and goes here. That's taken by Zatuni. Penalty advantage to the Redbirds, but they'll continue with the pick and goes. Five meter, uh, five meter line now. Getting very close to the GG's try zone, and that's a score. I believe that's number 15. No, sorry. 11. <laughs> we gotta look at the number first. <laughs> Uh, 13. 13. So that's <laughs> Martin Laval. He actually finished second in the RCQ for total points with 63. He was just behind Glenn Roy of the Ottawa GGs. So uh, McGill take first blood here at Matt Anthony Field. Four minutes in to the first half. And Martin Laval will also take the conversion point today. I'm assuming that's how he got all his points. Right but behind Glenn Roy. Yeah. Bit of a different story here tonight. Uh, last time these two met, the only points were scored off penalty kicks by Martin Laval, but able to get a try on the board early in the first half here. Kick from the sideline. It's a good strike, but just wide. So score remains five nothing for the visiting McGill Redbirds. 
The call is no good. McGill opens up a 5 0 lead. Gigi's going to look for a response here after a good start from the Redbirds. It's going to be Glenn Roy taking the drop kick here for the Gigi's. Kick is up and it goes deep. It's going to be Laval who takes it in and kicks it right back down the line. Able to find a bit of space between Roy and Evans. Who's probably going to kick it again. Nice yeah. and high. This one goes high, contestable both sides, but going to bounce in the favor of the Redbirds. Tackled by Glenn Roy. Laval uh, picks and go midfield. Ball is going to go out to Zatuni, but it's a big tackle coming from the Gigi's. And Ali Awada is going to get the jackal. Penalty against the Redbirds not releasing. Glenn Roy is going to look for touch here. Good yardage for Glenn Roy, putting the Ottawa GGs uh, 20 meters from uh, the try line. It'll be the GGs' first attacking line out of the match. They've had some pretty good success at line out, usually going up to number five, Logan Harris, or Yenem Zazua, who's unavailable, unavailable for selection today. GGs stacked to the back. Push to the front to Jack Chouinard. They're going to look for the mall. Going forward. Initially looked like McGill wasn't going to engage, but they do, and Gigi's are getting a good drive here. Starting to edge towards the sideline. Shield's going to go out to Billow with some great steps. <laughs> Known for his happy feet. Yeah. Shield's going to call his own number. Pick and go by Awada. Some quick rugby here from the Gigi's. Good momentum, but... Penalty goes against the Gigi's for not releasing. Great defensive response from the Redbirds. Poir is going to look for the sideline. Only gains about 10 meters off that. It's going to be a Redbird line out. Tina with the throw in. Let's take a brief time out for <coughs> a contact lens. <laughs> Got to be able to see yeah. when you play rugby. Logan Harris is very supportive. <laughs> I'm getting that back in. <laughs> What a great guy. Full line out here for the Redbirds. Tana is going to go to the middle, but it's not straight. Gigi's going to have the option, scrum or line out. Imagine they'll probably try and take the scrum here, and they do. Ottawa has been very successful this year with their uh, scrumming. Um, yeah, super experienced pack. Um, everyone in the pack has RCQ experience. Lots of them with the GGs, uh, with the exception of Zach Oje, who was a former Redbird, actually. So playing against his alma mater today. Gigi's ball, Shields with the put in. About 30 meters from the try zone. Shields to Armstrong. Armstrong's gonna look for a quick pass to Evans, but just misses the hands. Spilled forward a couple of times, but we're gonna go back to the initial knock by Evans.
it was uh, looking like some promising attack there with uh, Evans coming through the gap, but yeah. I think just a bit too much depth on that line. So turnover, it's gonna be Redbird scrum here. Looks like the Reds might run it instead of kicking it out for territory. Fraccioni with the put in. Huge scrum of the GGs, but it's gonna be a Bentar and penalty against them. I think that was for an early drive. Plot is gonna look to kick if this does, or sorry, that looks like Dominic Russell. If this does go out of bounds, it will be a turnover. Big high kick here. Locked backwards by Glenn Roy. Some quick thinking by the Redbirds, but it's gonna come out of bounds, I believe. Straight out through the back. We're gonna come back to the knock on. Friday Night Lights, this, the high ball sometimes gets lost. Yeah, you get lost in the sauce of the lights. <laughs> Seems to be what have happened to Glenn Roy. Usually pretty good under the high ball. Fraccioni here with the put in for McGill. Uh, McGill 30 meters in into the Gigi's uh, zone. Another good drive by the Gigi's. They're gonna turn it over. Shields is gonna kick, but it's gonna go straight out of bounds. Bit of a, I don't think he's gonna be super happy with that, that play, you know. If you're able to turn it over and kick it deep, you can t often catch a a team kind of off guard. Off guard, but that one goes straight out of bounds. We're going to come back to where it's kicked from. It's going to be a and it's going to be Redbirds Red ball. They're going to opt again for the full line out. Going to go up to number seven, but it's overthrown and not straight. Graham OJ Neal Klein going for a run. Huge steal. Gigi's ball. Billows. Happy feet. Good positive momentum here coming for the G's. Shields is gonna look to attack to the short side here. Marshall takes it up to the gain line. Awada's gonna take it for a couple more. M bunch of pick and goes here from the GG's. Seems to be working one meter at a time. Now they're gonna unleash the backs, or sorry, Evan Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Out to Glenroy, his brother. He's going to have a nice chip kick over the defense. Finds it. Oh. Number 15 doesn't know what to do with the ball. It's going to be a five meter scrum, I believe. He knocked it into his own try line and touched it down because he brought it in. It's going to be a five meter scrum for the GGs. We've seen them be pretty dominant in this area, so it's a great attacking position for them. Yeah, huge momentum from that uh, line break from Graham. Yeah. Really great heads up rugby off the, the turnover at line out. Be interesting to see if they try and go for a pushover scrum here. The forwards do love a pushover scrum. They do, work of art. <laughs> or if they'll unleash Connor Billow. And they opt for the ladder, but he's met right away by Redbird's defense. Gigi's gonna look to pick and go. Pick and go, yeah. Shoot <laughs> it up with the forwards. Kind of the safer option. Uh, yeah, draw in some defenders here. Create some space on the outside. For huge, your huge uh, space on the right here. Jamie Armstrong sees it, but uh, now it's to tell the nine if he wants it. 
Pick and go seem to be working at the moment. That one's a bit high, but still getting momentum. It's going to be advantage to the GGs, not rolling away. Good opportunity here. Evan Roy. Evan Roy is going to go straight through the Redbirds down for five. Straight under the poles, which is a nice, easy kick for Glenn Roy. I know, a bit of a gift to his brother. <laughs> Just um, a family matter. Yeah, <laughs> it is here at the <laughs> GG's Rugby. Um, but we've seen this season, like, Evan Roy has scored so many tries in close quarters yeah. with the pick and go. He's hard to stop when he's only a couple meters out from the line. Yeah, guy can keep the ball, that's for sure. Yeah. It's like a handoff to his brother. I've done the five points here, do this, the two points. Mm -hmm. Glenn Roy, uh, RCQ, uh, number one point scorer for, the, is, for, yeah. for the province. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he's also um, surpassed the GG's single season point record and is getting quite close to the all-time scoring record. Which is? <laughs> Do we held, know? It's held by Jamie Armstrong at the moment. I believe it's a, a hundred and a bit. Oh. Um, and Glenn's already scored over 70 this season, so. And Connor uh, Billow. a couple more today for him. Yep. Connor Billow's going to take it in. Good rock. Shields going to look back to his captain, Jamie Armstrong, who's going to look for the clearance kick. It goes quite high. Recover. Almost recovered by Robinson, but ball hits the deck. Gigi's remain in possession, going to go back to Jamie Armstrong, who's going to boot it over the head of the Redbirds. But number 15, Dominic Russell, is going to call, call mark. a mark. Sends it straight to Jamie Armstrong. Looks like Jamie Armstrong's gonna try to chip it over the Redbirds defense. He finds number 10, Poil, who's gonna kick it back. Gigi's a bit of out of position here. Gordy Evans is gonna clean it up. Back to Lewis Shields. Clearance kick goes high. Shields chasing his own kick, potentially getting Good it back. Bounce. Uh Unsure. I don't know that <laughs> hand sure. movement. <laughs> yeah. Just a circle, a bunch of circles. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be offside on the kick, but um, unfamiliar with the, the circling hand motion. <laughs> Martin Laval is going to look for the points here. Which would put them uh, in the lead, 8-7. So right now, Gigi is leading 7-5 the 22 minute uh, of this game. Yeah, once you get to a playoff series, kicking off the tee becomes so important and both squads have really solid kickers, so gotta take that option when you have it. Laval. It's up. It's through. 8-7 now for the McGill Redbirds. 21 minutes left in the first half. The kick is good for McGill's number 13, Martin Laval, and McGill has a one point lead. Now, for those who don't know, this is uh, the semi final games here tonight. So, uh, if uh, the team that loses tonight doesn't, uh, well, doesn't win, <laughs> uh, they do not go ahead. Um, and continue on the journey to the national championship game. Yeah, one team season will end tonight. Who will it be? <laughs> oh, bobble backwards from Laval. Good, rec good recovery. But not a lot of yardage. GGs are going to be in there attacking 22 with a line out. Probably going to try to maul. Or not. They have uh, <laughs> five, five men, five men line out. I mean, they can still try. Up to Jack Chouinard. Oh, there you go. They are going to opt for them all. And it, it's moving forward at a pretty good pace. Yeah. Gained five meters so far. Kind of stopped. The train is still going. 
Aliawada. It's going to peel off the back of the mall. Now it's Logan Harris is going to try and take it for a run. He's got support. Gigi is going to keep rumbling towards the try line with Connor Billow. OJ clearing the ruck. Well beyond the ruck for that matter. <laughs> Evan Roy going for a, a semi break there again. Like we said, so lethal in close quarters. And Gigi's have the advantage. Under the post again. Let's see what they do with this advantage. They're going to go to OJ on a bit of a, a close ball. Continue the pick and goes. McGill defending with all their heart here. And that's going to be a try for number one, Connor Williams. GG's all back the on top. All the hard work of picking up those rocks has uh, finally <laughs> yeah. came through for Connor Williams. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, he has a collection of boulders he uses to train. If Did you can't train in the gym, you train outside. Find Touch the grass with Find your toes. <laughs> Get those rocks up. Glenn Roy is going to tee up again for the chance to make it 14-8 for the GGs. Glenn Roy for the conversion. And it goes straight down the middle. It's going to be 14 to 8 with 18 minutes left. No problemo <coughs> for Glenn Roy. Yeah. Redbirds, Dominic Russell with a kickoff. Goes nice and high. high and deep. No. Ball's going to bounce to Jamie Armstrong, who's going to clear it right away. It's going to stay in bounds, I believe. Sorry, no, it goes out of bounds right by the halfway mark. So it's a line out literally at the half for uh, the Redbirds with Tenno as the thrower. A couple of not straight calls here for the Redbirds, so we'll see how it goes. It's starting to mist a bit here, so conditions starting to worsen. Good jump by the GGs, but Redbirds are going to maintain possession and go for the mall. Goes about five meters before being stopped. They're going to peel off. Good run by Hunger. Uh. It's going to be a call against Ali Owada for losing his feet at the ruck. I think he thought he had the jackal, but. Uh, they're going to look for points here. Martin Laval to put another three on the board if he makes it. Pretty much exact same spot. He kicked it from last time where he was successful. So Might as well take a. Uh, the odds again. Pretty big crowds here on both sides. Lots of uh, Redbird fans making the journey out. Laval. Good strike. Gonna go sh not through the post. Always hard to tell from oh the Oh yeah, side. we can't <laughs> can't really see. <laughs> we need one of those cameras right behind the, yeah. the goal posts. So then that is now a twenty two kickoff for Gigi's? Yes. On a an attempt at goal if it goes out the back it's gonna be a twenty two drop. Glenn Roy is 
going to kick it deep. Laval is under it. Beats Robinson. Tries to go out to the outside. Going to pick and go here with Hunger. Bouncing ball to the blindside flanker. Gigi's turnover, Connor, Connor Williams. Williams. <coughs> Jeff, go, <laughs> go ahead, Dodge. Sorry, <laughs> Gigi's gonna continue with the pick and goes. It's been working thus far. Now it's gonna be Lewis Shields out to Jamie Armstrong. He's gonna swing it wide to Graham Neal Klein. Out to Gordy Evans. Pop out to his 11. Aiden Gregoire picked up by uh, Number 15, Russell. Good recovery by the McGill uh, Redbirds. Good attacking kick by the GGs, but not really anyone on the chase. Redbirds still not opting to exit out of their own 22. GNK with the jackal, but the Not tackler, awarded. The tackler did not roll away, so ball was not available to him. <laughs> Good kick uh, by um, Russell. Um, Sorry. I think, I think that might have been Poil. <laughs> Uh, I was paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to the hecklers, so. Yeah, same here. Number two, Tano with the ball. Have a quick conference with Zatuni. Another full line out for the Redbirds. They're going to go to the front, find number five. Quick little Jack mall. Kelly. Good response by the GGs. Jack Srinar tackling that guy like it's his day job. Poir, gonna spit it out to Laval. He's gonna find Russell. Who slips through Gordy Evans' uh, arms. Hunger. Good carry. Back out to Poir, who's gonna kick over the U Ottawa defense. Gordy Evans gonna look for the outside line versus the Redbirds. Connor Billow takes it into Contact, Lewis Shields back to Jamie Armstrong for the clearance. It goes high. No one wants it. No one wants it from uh, the Redbirds. Or GGs apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Laval is able to get it out to Poir who's gonna look for an outside line here but is met nicely by Glenn Roy. Redbirds losing territory here. Tina with the carry up to gain line. Kicking. Ball's gonna go back to Laval. Ball's gonna go straight out of bounds, so we're gonna come back to the spot he kicked it from. That's a bit of a mistake on his part. I'm sure he's gonna want that one back. Yeah, definitely felt the pressure there, Mr. Martin Laval. Yeah, it's difficult to execute that kick when defense is pushing you backwards. Gigi's line out, 20 yards into the, their attacking half. Auger with the ball. Ref not too happy with the alignment of the line out here. Not straight is the call. Redbirds are gonna have the option of scrum or line out. McGill line out? They're going to opt for the line out, I guess. There's been a couple of not straight calls here tonight, but I mean, when they've mauled, <laughs> it's worked, so. Yeah. Like we said earlier, no wind tonight impacting line outs. It's a beautiful night for some uh, Friday Night Lights rugby. Sure is. Tina. 
to six. They're gonna look for that mall again. Logan Harris trying to reach over and cause some disruption. Good balls out to Lorando. Now to Poire. Clearance kick. Finds Gordy Evans on the run. He's gonna kick it straight back. Shields with a chase. Russell, quick kick, but it's a bit of a shank. Goes straight out of bounds. And we're gonna come back to where he kicked it from. Bit of conference between the refs. Ball was tipped off Lewis Shields on the kick, so it's gonna be a Redbirds line out. Ten minutes into, uh, sorry, ten minutes. <laughs> what am I trying to say here, Dutch? <laughs> there is ten minutes left there in the first go. half. <laughs> sorry, I was distracted. Not sure what's happening here right now. Lewis Shields having some uh, words with the ref. It's probably a blue card. Yeah, because he, uh, he tackled the Russell pretty weirdly and... Uh, Stayed on the ground for a couple seconds. Probably just want to check if his head is okay. Um, head yeah. injuries are now being way more important in the rugby community. Uh, for anyone looking at the Rugby World Cup, anything head-related, yeah. uh, you uh, can't really do anything about it. You just got to get out and it's get checked. tough as a player to have to, um, you know, miss those crucial moments. But it's a great rule. It's been implemented. Um, if you pass your head injury assessment, you can come back into play. Um, if you don't pass, you'll be under under concussion protocol. And the ref has all the authori uh, authority on this. And he's going to say that he wants him checked out, so GGs are going to have to put in a replacement for the time being while so Lewis Shields can get a HIA. I believe Gregoire, number 11 here, is going to step in as 9, and Mr. Tran... Uh, we'll take in for Gregoire as as uh, Shields gets his uh, HIA in. Gregoire is quite familiar with the scrum half position, so I'm sure it's not too much of a transition for him. Yeah, although he's been playing quite a lot in the wing. This, he uh, has started out at the scrum half, but um, Moved to the wing after some great performances by Shields, so hope he's okay. Redbird's gonna go to the front again. Momentum stop here, but continues. Ref's gonna say one, they have three to use it. They're gonna go out to Poire, T tries to take the outside on Armstrong, but is unsuccessful. Coming to come back to Hunger, who's quackled, tackled quickly by Evan Roy. Messy ball back to Poire. Good low kick over the head of Evans. Gordon. He's gonna kick it high, but finds number 14, Jack Turner. Quick ball by... Uh by Miguel. A great counter ruck by OJ. Wow, he Alia read that. Wa Ali Awada takes the ball right away. Good read. Gigi's back in possession and getting momentum down the right-hand side of the field. Yeah, Jamie Armstrong putting in a couple yards for the team here. Yeah, it's not just the forwards that can pick and go, apparently, and it's not just Jamie Armstrong who can play 10. It's Evan Roy, too, I guess. Donnie Tran steps two Ooh. defenders, takes the outside, beats a third. Eventually tackled by Jack Tucker. Turner, sorry. Evan Roy offloads to Logan Harris. Gigi's great momentum coming here. Evan Roy again going for just all the runs that he can. Great work effort here by the Gigi's forwards. They're going to go out to their captain, Jamie Armstrong. Good feet gets him to gain line. Quick call by the referee. Hey, 
Gigi's fans not too happy with the call. It's going to be a Redbirds line out five meters in to the Gigi's half. See how the GGs adjust. They've gone to the front and mauled pretty much every time. But Zatuni and Tana are still going to have a, a chat. They're going to go to the middle this time. It's overthrown. But knocked forward by Gray. It's going to be a Redbird scrum. Fraccione with the put in. A little bit of a reset here. Fraccione with a put in. Good scrum by the GGs. <laughs> Ref's going to say that it went straight through the channel. Getting a bit heated here. Like we said, one, one team's gonna end their season tonight. And conditions starting to worsen with some rain. Captain's getting called up. Pretty dominant at the scrum thus far, but haven't been rewarded that much. They had one turnover that came back to their side, and I believe one penalty. Mm -hmm. um, we'll reset here the Redbird scrum. Quite the ordeal getting the scrum set up here. <laughs> it's going to be a GG's bent arm penalty for talking to the ref. Smack talking. <laughs> Gregoire is going to look to play here. He's going to go to Evan Roy. Good carry, but. Good tackle by four still from McGill. Nice. Great Connor run by Williams. Connor Williams. Gregoire is going to find Armstrong. Ball out back to Roy. Quick oh. tip to Chewy, but just knocked out of his reach. No whistle. McGill ball. We'll play advantage for the knock on here. Ball is going to go back to Russell. High clearance kick. Gordy Evans under it. Slips backwards with the rain, but kicks it low back to the Redbirds. Good bounce for uh, number 11. 11? Yeah, that was number 11, Alexandre Lorando. 
Hunger with the carry. Gonna attack the left side here. Ball's just knocked up in the air by Evans, but finds number 12. Goes Alex for a Armstrong. big run, yeah. <clears throat> 20 meter uh, yards made for that. Ball out to Kelly. Another Gigi. advantage to the Redbirds. Number nine trying to go Frashoni for a scoot. Frashoni thought he had a bit of a gap there, but met with a hard hit by Roy. Frashoni out to Poir. He's gonna take the inside. And Redbirds are gonna look to pick and go here. Zatuni takes it in, unleash the backs. Poil's gonna switch it in reverse and go to the other side. Jack Schwinor takes him down. Uh, ball is in the air for anyone to take right now. Seems like McGill. Are gonna be awarded the penalty. Looks like one of the GGs played the ball on the ground. Very elaborate. <laughs> hand gestures by the ref, so we all know. <laughs> are we gonna go for the points, or are we gonna go for... I yeah. think you gotta go for the yeah, points Yeah, he's here. going for the points, especially probably the last play of the game. Uh, sorry, of the... <laughs> <laughs> of the half. Of the half. Don't worry, There's we more. still have 40 minutes for you. Yeah. Martin Laval is gonna look to narrow this Gigi's lead. Martin Laval. It's up. And it's through. Good kick in spite of the crowd. Now probably only a play or two left in the first half. It's 14 to 11 for the GGs. Holding on to a narrow, narrow lead. Glenn Roy is going to take a sec to adjust his socks. <laughs> While the ref talks to head coach Andrew Armstrong, a.k.a. Bones. About what? Not sure. Maybe shields. Maybe refing. Maybe the confrontations at the scrum. Two minutes. Before half. Glenn Roy is going to put it up for the Redbirds. It's deep. Finds Laval. Going to kick it straight back. Ball's going to stay in bounds for Gordy Evans. He's going to look to play it. Beats one defender, but <laughs> Laval kind of brings him down. Below. Meet, met by a huge wall of Redbirds. Chewy. Jamie Armstrong's going to put the ball up. Looked like ball was knocked forward by Jack Chouinard, but not caught by the ref. Ball's out of the bottom of the ruck. Gonna be a penalty against the GGs. No wrap in the tackle. Bit of a chaotic phase of play there. Yeah. But ends up Redbirds possession deep in their own half. Poil's gonna look for the sideline here. Massive kick. Emma Wade. <laughs> <laughs> she knows how to hook her throw. <laughs> 
Shout out to the women's rugby team who won RCQ finals, by the way, uh, and is heading to uh, the Nationals at Laval yeah, next, uh, this week. Because Laval are the reigning national champions, they will get the number one seed going into the tournament. Good Balls line out. turned over to the GGs. G and K gonna go for a run. Makes about 10 meters. Gregoire out to Wade Marshall. Finds gain line. Out to Billow. C. Wills gonna find a couple yards. Gigi's probably look to maintain possession and kick it out to end the half. Looks like they're doing a bit of a piston action here. Back and forth with the forward pods. Now they're gonna opt for the pick and go. Tiring out the defense and then uh, letting rest the backs here. So then maybe send it out to the backs for a little yeah, Halftime score. If they can send it out to the backs with some space or even just eat away at the clock before kicking it out to end the half on their own terms. Rather see some points on the board. That would uh, be. Yeah, <laughs> I would too. <laughs> Ali Wada with a good carry. Bit of a messy ruck here, but Evan Roy's going to come away with it. Gains a couple yards there. Connor Williams hit hard by Tanat. Yeah. Hard work here on both sides. Wade. Jack Chouinard is a bit high there. Oh, <laughs> Jamie Armstrong gonna try and go for the drop goal, but it's blocked. I think we're gonna end the half on that note. Yeah, so 10 minutes for anyone at home. Grab a drink, grab whatever you need. Go to the loo <laughs> and we'll see you back in 10 minutes.
of our ECQ semifinal. Current score is 14 to 11 for our U Auto Ajigi. A couple of substitutions coming here um, for the GGs. Looks like Dion has come in. He's a, a notable impact player. He used to play for the McGill uh, Redbirds. And Ryan Plunkett has also entered for Jack Pianar. Huge chase by Mr. Plunkett under this kickoff. Dion replacing uh, Ali Awada, I believe. Yeah. And it's it also looks like Lewis Shields has not returned to the field. Gregor will keep the position as nine tonight. Uh, big play by uh, the Gigi's here, starting off the second half strong into the McGill red zone. Sorry, yellow zone. I do believe Aiden Gregoire will be here on this one the rest of the game. I don't think they have a backup running back in the lineup. It does look, however, that the Redbirds have put a new nine in. Pass mm -hmm. number 22. Huge line, Gordy Evans gonna score this. Wow. No! Drops it last minute. Did he drop it or did he get it down? No, he dropped it. He oh my God. dropped. Fumbled the bag, as one would say. Uh, therefore, I quite literally looked at the roster, and I missed it. Uh, it looked like an obvious try, but uh, the one of the Miguel athletes just came in with a little, little side punch, little to the ball. Got away from Gordy's hands. It's going to be a goal line dropout for the Redbirds. That means Gigi gets the ball back. Hopefully they can uh, get some attack going here. Poil with the, the kick out to Glenn Roy. He's going to kick it back. Attempted a goal. Uh, attempted a drop off. What's drop happening? kick. <laughs> I'm not sure. He, he did call a mark. It seemed like the mark was a little late on that, though. Bit of confusion on both sides, I think. No really clear call from the, the ref either. He's just gonna kick it straight out of bounds, and because that's a bent arm penalty, it's gonna be possession to the GGs. Hectic first few minutes. <laughs> hectic, of play. very hectic. Some good, some good stuff happening, and then yeah. just some horrible, <laughs> horrible mistakes. Only been two and a half minutes of play here, but action packed. <laughs> Jose's going to throw in, go up to Plunkett. Good reach. He's going to take it and run. Gregoire. Good call. Going to find Billow. He's going to swing it out back to Armstrong with a low grubber through the back line. Beautiful grubber here. Still going. Russell is going to put it down under pressure from Graham Neal Klein. It's going to be a goal line dropout again for the Redbirds. Gigi's ball if they catch it. Some great um, attacking opportunities here for the GGs. We've been in the Redbirds' territory for most of the game here and quite deep in the territory yeah. as well. Yeah, just got to finish it. Yeah. Ball's going to stay in for DMK. He's going to attack the short side, runs over Poir, and is taken to deck. Dion going for a couple yards here. Evan Roy. Great tackle by number six on the Redbirds. Ball's going to swing out to Logan Harris. Another great hit by the Redbirds. Good defense here f uh, from the Redbirds. Glenn Roy is going to take a half gap before he's taken down. Gregoire out to Plunkett. Great run by him. Then again to Evan Roy. He's going to look to make some meters. Gregoire, Armstrong just misses hands. He's going to take the hit and go to deck. Still on his feet. Manages to save himself from going out of bounds. Connor Billow, it's going to take two to take him down. 
Jaguar. I spunk it. McGill doing I a good job here from defense. That was weird when I said I spunk. Dion runs over a couple of Redbirds. Who I think, I believe that's his also, that's also his alma mater. It is indeed, yeah. Two former McGill Redbirds in the roster for the GGs. And the GGs do have advantage here. And we're going to end up taking that penalty. Uh, do Glen we want to kick for points? Probably. Looks like, uh, looks like Glen Roy is going to opt for that. Puts three points on the board. Extend the lead when you have the opportunity. Still early in the game to uh, two. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like they need five points right now. But it's a good decision. Glenn Roy's going to take the mark back about 10 yards. He needs all that distance. <laughs> Guy got the boot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a little <laughs> bit of an extra boot up there. kick but it does go through it's going to be 17 to 11 for the GGs still a one score game here Mr. Russell here on the kickoff for McGill. It's up and deep. It's going to bounce into the hands of Robertson. Kick back to Jamie Armstrong, but uh. fails to make any meters there. It's going to be a, a line out for the Redbirds on the 22. Birds again going to opt for the full line out. Up to the front. Taken nicely by McGill. Good maul by McGill here. Found a probably five meter yard, uh, five meter, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> McGill and still Gigi's going. He's going to get him out of bounds. That's a great play by Dion to take the maul out of bounds and get possession back to his team. Dion using a medicine to help heal his arm. Dr. Dion. Dr. Dion. <laughs> He's uh, been playing off the bench for most of the, the year, but has had an extraordinary, extraordinary impact from this team. Huge lineup by Logan. Jamie Armstrong's going to kick it out. Again, doesn't find too many, too much yardage. It was back again for a, a Redbird line out <coughs> on the 22. Basically a replay of the last one. Gigi's are going to switch it up and put Logan Harris in the front. He's arguably one of their best jumpers, so really try and contest that ball. Unable to do so. It's going to be another clean line out for the Redbirds. And the mall is moving forward. Mall has stopped and ball is available to play for the Redbirds. Big hit by Dion. Massive Vincent hit. Vincent out to Poil. Oh. oh. <laughs> ball Number 12 forgot the ball there for <laughs> a second. <laughs> he kept moving and the ball stayed as is. Ooh, 
text in here, but there's a lot of. Maybe they can hear it. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can hear it. Lots of lots of good chatters from the crowd coming. Uh yeah, lots of uh, <laughs> hearing us run into some trouble with the equipment and things. So yeah, some lovely exchanges. Greg walks straight back to Armstrong, nice and high. High pitch. Yep. Difficult to catch a little light, but Russell does it well. Um, another high kick by uh, McGill. Thought the ball had gone out of bounds, but we're still going to play on. Gordy Evans is coming down the sideline here, out to Robinson. Taken to ground, but tackle is good by Brad Hunger. Great phase of attack by Gugu's, but isolated runner leads to the turnover. Good jackal by Miguel, number number four, Hunger. Brad Hunger. Russell with the ball. It's a good kick. Beautiful kick. But Gordy Evans manages to keep it in bounds. Sorry, no, it's a late <laughs> late uh, flag up by the linesman. Keeping us all on our toes, never knowing what the <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? So that is a McGill ball. And uh, there's a free ball on the, on the field, kicked off by the ref. They're gonna try oh, to go to unfortunate <coughs> knock on by Dion. Yeah, the Cougars have had a lot of uh, success countering when there's been an overthrow on the McGill line outs, but that one's just snipped out of the fingertips of Dion. Redbirds in good field position here. Brian Stomp looks to put it in for the Redbirds. Another huge scrum by the GGs. And it's blown up because ball came straight out the channel. Redbirds are going to have another go to to main to ma maintain possession. I mean, <laughs> the Gigi's have really been dominant at the scrum in every game they've been playing. Yeah. Yep. the ball in, but Gregoire recovers. He's thrown to deck. Billow's gonna play scrum half out to Armstrong. He's gonna spin it over the head of Ooh. a couple of Gigi players. Out Trent to still Tran. going. Trackstar oh. with the offload. Armstrong's gonna, what? sorry, we're gonna come back. Sure of a call here. Not sure what the call is here. <laughs> I thought they were they were gone, so I thought so too. Yellow card. Yellow card to Donovan Tran. For what, I'm not sure. I didn't really see anything worthy of a yellow card, but. I honestly wish we could hear the ref. Yeah. Is he going to show some movement? Uh, oh, it looks like he uh, boxed too high. Yeah. Elbow in the face. That might have been it. I think so. That's what the m movement looked like. Again, when it comes to heads, we don't mess around here with rookies. 
sorry, Rugby doesn't mess around with head injuries. <laughs> Poor Johnny. Paul's going to find the sideline. Ledford <laughs> line out about 20 yards out. So a yellow card, for those who don't know, is a 10-minute uh, sand bin. Sin bin, sorry. <laughs> sand bin. <laughs> um, so Tran is going to be out for 10 minutes. And the Bluebirds will play with 14 players versus 15. <laughs> How does that add up? <laughs> well, we don't know if they know. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, McGill with a bit of trickery. They go to the front <laughs> of the line out. Oh, oh. Someone's Another pulling that. Another penalty against the Blue Bees. Miguel very close to the try zone here. <laughs> Miguel uh, picking and going slowly but surely. Uh, ref whistles. Deal with the ball. Redbird's going to look to play from their own five meter line. Good carry by Miguel. Little fumble. BG still defending it as hard as they can. Who said? BG still defending as as uh, as hard as they can. McGill slowly closing the gap on that try line. Huge hit by Huge. Dion. Coming up clutch, the GGs. Pushing them back 10 meters now. Oh no, that is, sorry. Penalty advantage against GG's, Redbirds are going to continue to play. Laval going quick. Lots of uh, <laughs> bouncing around, but it's going to end up in the GG's favor with the scrum. What a defense by the GG's. There's um, Redbirds that seem to have uh, an injury during these times. Uh, the two teams rest for a little bit and get some water while uh, things get figured out on the field. Test. Testing. Opportunity for both sides to, to readjust here. Still going to come back for a GG scrum. GG's with the ball here at their 
I don't know, eight meter line, seven meter line, yeah. trying to get out of the dreaded red zone. Uh, Dodge was saying earlier that tonight was a beautiful night since there was no wind, but the wind is kicking in, is kicking in right now. Yeah, a bit of rain, bit of wind. Conditions kind of all over the place at the moment. Just your typical fall weather in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of years ago when the women hosted the national championships here, we had sunshine, snow, rain, and wind all in the same game. <laughs> Gregoire with the put in. Massive push by the GGs. Another huge scrum. Dion going to take it for a run. Boshes through two players and offloads out to GNK. Gregoire out to Glenn Roy. He's going to draw Laval in. Show and go. And the goose step. And he's still on his feet. Oh, my oh God. God. This guy is unstoppable right now. Better keep that ball, Glenn Roy. <laughs> Jamie Armstrong is going to go for the pick and go here. Keep the ball moving forward. Gigi's attacking from the five meter to the opposite five meter. Crowd. Crowd was really excited about that one. That's for sure. Everyone was up and just jumping. Not sure what's going on here. Slowed down a bit. Connor Williams with the ball. Keeps picking goes. No try. try. Held up by the Redbirds. Number four. Number four, Hunger, it seems like he has a little injury. So uh, he's going to be needing some tending, and hopefully he uh, recovers quickly. A little less than uh, 20 minutes left in the half here. Number 20 coming in. GG's with the ball, Jamie Armstrong. Goose step, show and go through the defense. Another goosey step. GG's are back threatening the try line. Connor Billow gets held up by the by the Redbirds. No try again. That's two in a row held up for the GG's. Good defense by the by the Redbirds. Clearly, they do not want the GGs to score. I mean, who would want that <laughs> in an eliminated phase? <laughs> but GGs get another opportunity to go back at it again. Hopefully, this time they get lower. Graham under the high ball. Good fight. Twanquet, number 20. Good defense by the Redbirds, but Gigi's in threatening territory again. Wade Marshall, and a penalty advantage for the Gigi's. Good pass by Jamie Armstrong. Bounce pass out to Robinson. Connor Billow's going to pick it from the bottom of the ruck. Makes about five meter yards here. Five meter yards. <laughs> Five, five meters. Dion getting a strip <laughs> of his jersey, but not of the ball. So we're going to come back for the penalty advantage. Dion's going to take a second to gather himself, I think. 
but within kicking territory, looks like Glenn Roy is going to go for the upright here. And extend their lead by three points, putting them 20 to 11. <laughs> if he makes it. Gigi's looking to finally get some points on the board after some really good phases of attack. And a bullet by Glenn Roy is three more points for the Gigi's, 20 to 11 with a little less than 15 left in the half. And three more points for Glenn Roy going up in <laughs> In, yeah. the in the points in the RCQ uh, standards here. And that is, uh, by the way, Gigi's down one player because they are uh, they have a red uh, yellow True. card. True, I almost forgot about that. Gigi's had like about five good runs at the, the try line there while being 14 to 15. Glenn Roy under the high ball, just slips out of his hands. It's gonna be a, a Redbird scrum. That was number 10, Poi with a nice high kick. Uh, putting the McGill Redbirds. Good field positioning. On a, yeah. yeah. On Tran is now back on, so Gigi's will now be playing 15 players to 15. Redbirds have gained about 20 yards since their kickoff a couple minutes ago. Now they're split, four on the right, two on the left here with the center scrum. We'll see how they fare in the scrum, though. Gigi's have been pretty dominant all game. And again, is blown up straight away, and Gigi's are rewarded. Huge push. Huge push. Looked like Connor Williams on the loose head side just completely blew up that scrum. How does, how does one player do that, Dodgy? You, uh, as a <laughs> forward player. Um, it looks like he won the, won the initial shoulder battle, was able to get underneath his opposition and pop him up, you know, and this once you get popped up in a scrum, it's hard to recover. Yeah. Going to tend to an injury here for the Redbirds. You know, we, we've seen in some of these World Cup matches that that piece can make all the difference. The South Africa, England game. South Africa won it with some great scrums at the end of the game, and some great kicking. But yeah. set piece is so huge when it comes to to eliminatory rugby. Glenn Roy for fine touch. Glenn Roy finds touch and finds the bleachers. <laughs> Five man line out for the G's. Up to Logan Harris. GG's are gonna maul. No initial movement by the GG's, but starts rolling now. Gigi's are going to pull the ball out. Jamie Armstrong's going to go for the high, high kick. Russell. No mark there, tries Russell. Tries to call a mark, but he's outside of his 22. Laval. Laval. Finds some good spot just in front of Gordy Evans, but he's going to look to try and take the outside. Another McGill player down. Dion. With a great run, and he's not held. Sorry, he was held, so it's going to be a penalty against him. <laughs> Time.
time is off while the injured player gets some attention. A little over 10 minutes left in the second half. What do the McGill Redbirds have to do to get back in, back within one here? McGill uh, Redbirds here went to nationals last year and uh, I believe finished second overall. No? Um, I don't think they finished second, um, but they did go to nationals. <laughs> so. Wrong team, wrong stats. <laughs> Plow with the kick. Finds touch over by the 22. <coughs> Very good position to be in to uh, put some uh, points on the board for the McGill Redbirds. Yeah, GG's have to be super disciplined here. Redbirds have shown that anywhere within their attacking half, Martin Laval can pretty much hit it. So, got to stay away from the penalties here. Look to get possession back. Another full line out for the Redbirds. And again, they're going to go up to the front. Almost stolen by Logan Harris, but Redbirds maintain possession. Ball pops out of the ruck, but Vincent manages to find it. Out to Laval with a flat skip pass. Good tackle by number 14, Robinson. Almost a jackal by GMK, but nice clear by the Redbirds. Some one on the GGs was offside, so another penalty, but Redbirds do not want the three, they want the five. So they'll keep on pushing down the down the line. Yeah, now's the time in the game when you know you just gotta get a try, I guess. <laughs> get some more points on the board. I have been informed that McGill was second at national, so apologies for my, my, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doubting me, Dodge. Yeah. <laughs> and while we were yapping, um. <laughs> <laughs> while we were getting our stats right while and we getting confirmation. While we were fact checking, um, not straight in the line out for the Redbirds, so GGs are going to get possession back can maybe breathe a, a sigh of relief. Well, I'll breathe uh, when the ball gets kicked out by Jamie Armstrong, <laughs> past the 22. True, true. <laughs> Seems like McGill has a new 10 on, on the lineup, number 24. Or, no, I lied. Maybe number, tw a new 12, yeah. a new 12. Because 10 still. Oh, yes. Just so hiding. New 12, that's Yen. <laughs> GG's dominating the scrum. They're going to keep the ball in, look to draw the penalty here, but... Redbirds still on their feet. Scrum has not collapsed. Jamie Armstrong's gonna deke out the kick and go for a run. Finally chips it over the head of Martin Laval. Finds Donovan Tran, who's down the sideline. Spins out of one tackle, but is taken down by the Redbirds. GG's made a couple, uh, couple of yards here. Only a few. <laughs> out to Plunkett. Massive hit. Going to look to attack short side again. Jamie Armstrong to deck. Logan Harris with the carry. Manages to find a few yards. Gregoire is going to pass out to Evan Roy. Swing pass to his brother, Glenn Roy. Beats two defenders. Straight arms another. Good 20-yard run from Glenn Roy. 
Lethal Sac- straight arm by uh by by Glenn. OJ is gonna play scrum half, and Evan Roy is gonna pass it again out to that back option. Fiji's doing their best to keep the ball in their hands, in their possession, and probably score another another try here. Fiji's have managed to make it from their own five meter line with ball in hand basically the whole time, other than that small chip kick. Yeah. And now Connor Williams is going down the sideline. Huge offload, offload to Graham. Graham still going. Gigi's inching closer towards the try line. Ball out to Dion. Dion. Huge runner to over to OJ. OJ to plunk it. He's going to look for the outside. He's not going to find it, but he's going to get close to the try line here. Gigi's with the ball still. Dion. Dion using his power. Met by a wall of Redbirds, but manages to find a way through for the try. Ref is call not calling it. He had shown try with his arm signal, but is now saying no try without consulting his other refs. I don't think he did show any signs, though. I think he just didn't see anything. He put his hand up. Not for a try. <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh, I thought I saw that. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it's scrum for her for Gigi's. Apparently, it doesn't matter what we saw. <laughs> the result is scrum, five meter line for the Gigi's. <laughs> Big scrum here for the forwards. Something they would probably want to do here is a uh, Cou- couple weapons, right? They got a lot of space on that. Dion could right take side. it and, 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 and just go for a run, or they can just slowly like bring it in as a, as a pass, yeah. make it a forward try. They look like they're going to try and go for the knock forward try, but Dion's going to take it to deck. But it's knocked on on the ground. Redbirds managed to escape another five by the GGs, but still on their own five meter line. Gill with the possession, GG's with the field position. Van looking, Schalt. looking like uh, Poir is gonna take it, take it in potentially. Ball pops straight out of the scrum. We're gonna reset. Gregoire thought he got a gift there, but <laughs> doesn't work like that. Gill ball. Gigi's getting ready to receive a high kick. Looks like they've switched Dion to the scrum half position. <laughs> Sorry, not scrum half, blank. Ball came <laughs> out. <laughs> ball came directly out of the scrum again. I reset for a second time here. Penalty against the GGs this time. For what, Dodge, do you know? I believe it was for barging. Russell is gonna (laughs) 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 almost kill us, is what he's gonna (laughs) do. (laughs) (laughs) Gonna be a a Redbirds line out. 
40 meter mark. We've seen time again, they've come to the front ball here and gone to the mall. Often o overthrowing that back ball. And again, a, a fumble at the line out. Gigi's uh, crowd, very excited about that one. Gigi's calling for a scrum. Redbirds quite dominant when they come to the five meter line, but have had a bit of trouble getting the, the balls to those back pods. Mm -hmm. Substitution for McGill. Around five minutes left here in the game, 20 to 11 for the GGs. Still a, a two score game at this point, so Redbirds are gonna look to, to strike quickly if they wanna get back in this. Advantage to the GGs, Redbirds kind of collapsed in on that scrum. GNK with some speed out to Glenn Roy, who's had a fantastic game. Offloads back to Graham Neal Klein. Good speed from the GGs here. Plunkett. Youngster's gonna take it to deck. Gregoire to Logan Harris. Just misses the offload to OJ. Huge hit by number two. Flat pass, but is knocked We're gonna come back to the scrum penalty. Probably gonna look for touch here by, uh, by G. Roy to get closer to the try line and yeah. closer to another try. Said, said it a couple of seconds ago, but he's had an outstanding game. I mean, he usually does with the boot, but today with ball in hand, he's been incredible. Yeah. Definitely my player of the match if I were to choose one. MVP, Mr. G. Roy. I would agree with you. Reaching closer towards that 80 minute mark. GG still have their entire height five still in the game. They've put a lot of work Ooh. in today. First Miss mistake. Yeah. But ball is knocked forward in the tackle. GGs are gonna remain in possession despite the the mistake at line out. Minutes ticking away at the at the clock here. GGs are gonna try and look to to drain that clock out, and McGill are gonna try and look to that would be the play here to 100%. strike as quickly as they can, but. GG scrum, we saw the last one was a scrum penalty for collapsing against the Redbirds. Bit more stable this time around. Gregoire out to Armstrong. Dummy pass with a over, <laughs> goes over two players out to Donovan Tran. He's taken down on the sideline. Jamie Armstrong showing off his passing skills. Dion with a good carry. Quick offload by Wade to Evan Roy, still up on his feet. Takes quite a bit of Redbirds to bring him down. Another player who's had a great game. The Roy is just taking over this game. They are. Connor Williams with a good carry. Ball pops out the back, but Gregoire cleans it up, passes out to Plunkett. Looks like GGs are trying to do some pistons here, but the Redbirds manage to Get the turnover. Plow's gonna go himself. He knows it's do or die at this point. They're gonna look to spin the ball out to the right hand side with Laval. Kick is blocked. Good defense by GG's. Not sure what's going on over there. 
Another good defensive play by the GGs. Penalty against them, though. <laughs> um, They're getting too excited here. No wrap. McGill. Gonna opt for the line out. They're gonna have to do it quick if they wanna get on the board here. But not Couple a whole lot of urgency here. Yeah. Looks like time might be running out for them. go up to the front, look to Maul. That's the option that's worked for them today. Logan. And Harris is going to come through. I thought it was legal, but ref disagrees. <laughs> it's but like you guys don't see eye to eye. No. But that's why he's out there. I'm up here. Miguel still punching down <laughs> the field. The field. <laughs> To try and uh, and get at least some last points on the board here tonight. Line out at the 22. Another full man for the Redbirds. They're going to go to the back, and it's going to work this time. Peel option, and then continue with the pick and goes. McGill sending it. Kelly to Poil, out to Laval. Good hit by the GGs. Managed to get the turnover. Dion. Not sure who that was, but stripped out of the hands of the Redbirds. GGs again going to look to kill the clock here. Good carry by Evan Roy. Ball's going to go back to Jamie Armstrong, who's going to kick it out of bounds. And that and is final whistle. Gigi's 20, Redbirds 11. And Gigi's getting redemption for that RCQ final loss from last year. Yeah, but it's not the end for the Gigi's. They still have to win the yeah. final RCQ game to get to go to Nationals. Uh, the game this Sunday, ETS Concordia will determine who they will play against. Both teams have beaten the GGs in regular season play, so whoever they end up playing, I'm sure it's going to be a great game. Uh, great season to the Redbirds. Um, and uh, let's go GGs. Let's go GGs. <laughs> Thanks for having us.